Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart, and I'm in the spring garden, wrapping it up. I'm getting ready to pull out these cauliflower and uh, harvest some of these cauliflower, and I just thought I'd show you, um, I know you probably saw the garden tour and I showed you the cauliflower, but I'm actually getting ready to harvest it. Now, let me show you what they look like before I start talking about them. <laughs> All right, you also, I don't know if you remember me talking about har uh, planting the broccoli and all of our uh, spring crops and how I really thought I lost all of them, right? I thought I lost all of the cauliflower. I thought all I had left was cabbages. And so I planted them thinking they were all cabbages. But the, the um, container that I planted them in, that I started them in, were mislabeled. So guess what I got here? I got all cauliflower here. Thought it was cabbage. Wrong cauliflower. Look at that moth right there. Y'all, if y'all see them in your garden, they are not your friends. Okay? You need to take them out. Because look at what they do to your leaves. Just look at that. And they lay these ugly little green bugs that come in. Little worms. And they come in and they, look at them. They poop all over your plant. They eat the leaves all up. Look at them right now how did this happen to us with them being under ground cover or being under um uh, uh, <laughs> uh insect barrier right or it has so many it has a couple of different names but how did it happen with them being under the row covers like it did right because some of them got under some of them got under somehow and then of course Look at there. They got poop all over here. Look at that, y'all. All over my cauliflower. Just look at it. Worm poop. And look, you can see the worm right here that that moth laid that I show you. Look at that I just showed you. Look at this worm here. That's what's crawling all over everything, pooping all over everything. So I have to wash this cauliflower really good. I'm going to drop him. Yeah, I don't like you. Squish. All right, so now. I have to come in and get all of this cauliflower out and get it clean. Now, to some of you, I know you're going to say, wow, this is awesome. Look at the cauliflower. It looks so good. That's some big old cauliflower, right? But to those of us who are gardeners, we know <laughs> this cauliflower has gone way past harvesting time, right? That's only because, I, hey, I wasn't expecting this to be cauliflower. I was expecting to come in here and find some cabbages that were ready to come out. But no, cauliflower, look at the size of that. Now, is it going to taste bad? No, not at all. Yeah, it might be a little past past harvesting time, past harvesting time, but y'all know it's not going to taste bad at all. Actually, it's going to taste pretty darn good. Watch what I tell you. And actually, I know this because we've already harvested one, and our baby girl, she took it and she cooked it and she made a cauliflower curry out of it. And she said that was the best tasting cauliflower that she had ever tasted. Now, mind you, she loves cauliflower. That's, that's her favorite vegetable. She loves, see here, look. Y'all see this? This is not cauliflower. No, it's not. That's cabbage. But in any case, you all, she said that was the best tasting cauliflower she had had ever. All right? That she could ever remember having. It was the absolute best. And it was just as big. It came off of this one right here. We harvested it from here. And she absolutely loved it. So you all, I got to go ahead and get to harvesting the rest of this cauliflower. And I just thought I'd take you along with me really quick while we get it done. Y'all stay tuned. This is a pretty big one that I'm getting ready to harvest here. And I'm just going to come in and cut it right underneath right underneath the head of the cauliflower, okay? Okay. Here it is. There's my cauliflower. Looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm going to get them all harvested. And we're going to get them cleaned up. I'm going to show you also how I clean them up, all right? Y'all stick around.
y'all the harvest is done in this cart we have one two three four five six seven eight and then we harvested one for my daughter and that was nine heads of unexpected cauliflower and like i said yes they are a little on the larger side a um, little bit past harvest time but these are going to be just fine they're going to taste just fine especially with the way we use them i primarily use cauliflower in the curries and maybe every now and then as a side dish but curry mostly <laughs> okay but in any case you all that is going to do it and actually i'm beginning to wonder if this was our purple of sicily i think it was purple of sicily or just purple cauliflower because as you can see the cauliflower heads are trying to turn that purple color on the top so all the ones that i think i lost maybe these are those right because even on this one you can see that hint of purple that hint of purple here so i'm wondering if these were actually my purple cauliflower heads and i thought i lost them all and i did not which is uh <laughs> which for me says you need to make sure you're labeling stuff correctly so you'll know exactly what it is that you're planting but that happens sometimes right the most important thing is is hey in this basket we got nine heads of cauliflower all right y'all that is going to do it for today's harvest of our surprise guest on the farm <laughs> our cauliflower and i am so looking forward to getting this prepped in the kitchen and get it put away and i will even take you all along with me and show you how I go about preparing my cauliflower and my broccoli for storage. I do not can cauliflower and I do not can broccoli. Um, it would be wise to just freeze your broccoli and your cauliflower or if you have a um, freeze dryer, you can also freeze dry your broccoli and your cauliflower. Now a Harvest Right freeze dryer. Um, I've never used one before, but I've seen it used before, and people do all kinds of things with that. Yes, yeah, pricey, but you all, if you have one, that would be another fantastic way to preserve your broccoli and cauliflower harvest, okay? But since we don't have one, what I'm going to do is get ours washed and cleaned up really good. Clean it really good, especially if you got worm poop on it. <laughs> you got to clean it good. You don't want that in your diet. <laughs> All right, y'all. But I'm going to take you along with me and show you how I do that and get it prepared. And in the freezer, it is going to go. Okay? All right, y'all. That's going to do it for today's video, today's harvest of our cauliflower. I will probably even take you along with us while we get the broccoli harvested as well. All right? So if you like the video, like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel. Thank you all so much again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Grow your groceries.